Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're doing another challenge. We're answering the questions, can you win a very hard battle with just captives, i.e. prisoners that you then befriended? So let me introduce you to our team today. We got Rangdor at our hand, who is going to be the tank. Comes in with uh, really 750-ish armor and good... I would say a good set of self-crafted items. We got a Brotherhood um, merchant that we have uh, created into kind of an um, off-tank, so to speak. I like the broad boarding grapple and the pushback axe, so we're going to see how this is going to work out. We got another uh, triple tank uh, with uh, the spearman. Uh, one guard that we captured both the brotherhood and the spearmen are wearing medium armor but are using hardening oil in order to get in position and uh, therefore have 80 guard then we got our dps which is a hoodlum an outlaw that we captured uh, that is running hand bomblets i very much appreciate uh, them as every critical hit with them deals a bleeding damage and also deals automatic health damage, which is fantastic. So really, really uh, good AOE damage. We got a Trapper uh, who is going to run light armor and a two-handed Arcadian steel battle axe. We got a Merchant uh, who is going to be kind of a Berserker uh, of sorts with Peace Bearer's Axe. Uh, that is an axe that attacks twice if the enemy still has guard. I put a civilian in here because why not? Just make it a little bit more challenging uh, and decided to give her war bow. She comes in at 70 uh, crit, which is sort of okay ish. I think uh, we might want to even get a bit higher than that. Let me swap that out and we're at 80 crit. Okay, cool. So. Uh, that is as high as it gets uh, if you cannot wear any armor. And uh, finally, uh, this is not the uh, typical uh, captive. It is actually an archer that I put in here to watch over them, which is why he's called Control. So let's see if these eight fine folks can take on a really difficult fight. We're therefore, uh, with our hunted rating of five, uh, are naturally... Uh, directly engaging with some guards. This here looks like the bigger group, so might as well attack them. We're not going back. We're going down guns blazing. Uh, that's already quite a bit. Uh, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're starting at a sizable uh, disadvantage number-wise, and I think uh, we're seeing two reinforcements. Yep. Oh, and we got fog on top of that. You never want to run into fog. Oh, it's just a nasty condition all around. Okay, let's do this. We're going to uh, take the Brotherhood tank to here. Merchant is going to the back and guard is doing what guard's supposed to do, as in guarding okay so let's see these uh, guys we're going to ignore for now I would like to um, we, we got to be really careful with our Vela points I have the absolute maximum of Vela points that you could get mainly because I wanted to make sure that we're uh, going to be all right for a longer fight. We have no Valor regain uh, mechanic other than control himself and the captain status of our wrongdoer. And that's it. That's the entire um, Valor mechanic to regain Valor. Good hit. Good. Let's see if our uh, strategy that I thought of uh, is going to work out. Oh, wow. Uh, 
Uh, that's not really going to work out. That's unfortunate. In which case, this here should be a hit. And... Okay, at least that worked out well. Making sure that he's not getting a turn. And we are closing this here so that no one else can move through here. But we can move behind so that our tank theoretically can go through. Positioning, super important. This guy is dead. Unfortunately, he is like the stun lancer of uh, War Tales. Just tries to dish out as much damage as he can before hysterically going down. And that, of course, is problematic because it'll cost us failure. Lots thereof. Hate to do it, but I don't want to hit my own guys. That's a hit. And specifically the guards can be quite dangerous because they can have uh, retaliation <coughs> on crits. Okay, we're moving forward. Let's get to their ba uh, back line. And we're going back just as fast as we came. At the moment, we're still winning, but just wait for the reinforcements. We don't have uh, the ability to get all of them down immediately which will be our biggest uh, problem. Good, moving this guy out. And I'm okay with just holding this side here. We're getting in position. Things are good. Frontline is holding. Uh, this guy here does have measured response, which is exactly the... Uh, the uh, problematic skill because all of uh, the crits, all of the melee crits, are essentially going to hurt us like a lot. Good, we don't want to yet use galvanizing troops. Well, that is going to happen a bit later. That's their captain, Captain Peelers. And we just lost our remaining guard thanks to destabilization. Mm, really unfortunate. That'll give a counter uh, give them a counter attack. There you go. Told you measured response is a bit of a problem. Yeah, we don't have any self-healing plans here. So we're just going, Trapper's just going to stay in the second uh, row.
Good. Triple hit is fine. Good enough. And we're just trying to get uh, rid of most of uh, these guys. Like I mentioned, at the moment it very much looks like everything is going to be okay, but trust me, very soon our Veiler is used up, and that's where the problems are going to start. Substantial amount of reinforcements are coming. Hmm. All right, back. So <coughs> let's uh, move uh, this to here. That foot soldier potentially is going to die right away. Yep, very good. And how about we're using this? this as a targeting spot we're currently out of valor you can see since uh, control is in position we're at least getting two uh, valor from hit uh, from him but that's not a whole lot stopping the bleeding here And arch uh, archers are doing quite a bit of damage. I like that. The lieutenant is almost down. Oh, yeah. We we will need to first of all get Valor. That's two, four, six, eight, ten. And we need to get all the way up there into their grill. Good, our other tank is now taking quite a bit of damage, unfortunate. Time to kill both of these guys. And potentially the technician uh, tactician on top of it. Okay, in a perfect world you don't want their DPS to even reach you. <clears throat> that is what happened here a couple of times. Good hit. Fantastic hit. Plus bleeding. Awesome. Hmm. Are we going to use Valor for that? Potentially not. We're at one hit point, which isn't great, but 45 is just as good as one hit point, to be entirely honest. So trying to heal that up is a bit futile. I would rather want us to attack without taking counterattacks. This guy took two attacks. And that's a kill. I'll position myself here so in case someone is coming from the fog we are doing uh, well.
Good. We're going. Uh, when moving, we're losing in position, and the only way to regain that is by effectively being in melee with someone. Little trick there: you can heal. That also gives you in position. There you go. Just got it. And that's the perfect position because no one can uh, go through here and everybody essentially needs to move right on to us. Plus, we are supported from behind. So that's good. Very nice. I'm not going to use the offend. Oh, holy, that was a great hit. Uh, I wish there would have been a way to regain armor, a skill to kind of absorb armor, maybe from a lighter armor target. And give it to one of your tanks. There we go. I mentioned it. We're being attacked and luckily the rivalry skill here of Merchant is helping us a lot because rivalry means although light armor he's taking less damage and I gave uh, gave him the sickles so a little bit of guard just to keep uh, him alive. He's supposed to be a frontliner Will not take for uh, tank for long, as you can imagine. A bit of an issue for us now is enemy just gets too many turns in a row, so we can't counter all of them. Okay, last set of reinforcements, as in now all of them are gone. Still enemies from there, but we do have the vast majority of all enemies is coming from right above. Moves to here. We're healing. Getting the enemies down. And regaining at least some Valor. Triple hit. Yeah, not too bad. I could have been a quadruple if I had known that that guy is right there. Moving back and are supporting. Unfortunately, our front line now starts to break down. A 
That's one more down. Fantastic. Good hit. Massive hit. Trying to get this guy down, but unfortunately just ever so slightly not happening. Ah, uh, we're... the front line is crumbling. It's not looking great. That's a hit. Oh, and a nasty kill. Good enough in order to withstand here. That's four, five more. But down there it doesn't look great either. These guys are going to be troublesome. I need to find a way of engaging them early. At least one of them. Because they will come in and just completely wreak havoc. They have a long movement range. And just generally they are a problem. Look at that, they can get all the way up to here. I need to defend the front line. That's okay. That is not so much okay. Now they are going to get a lot of turns. Okay, I could bind this one. Having the first few losses here. Still good. Oh. 
All right, we do have a problem. Pretty sizable one. We're being overrun. I can't let that happen. The lower side needs protection. But that should be a kill if we're engaging. One. Where's the second hit? Two. Kill. All right. Fantastic. Good. Let's try. To get out of here. And this phalanx soldier takes a couple of shots. Almost down. We are now completely out of uh, Valor, and it was a great showcase why keeping enough Valor is important. We don't have any Valor generators anymore, so that's really a problem. Almost, almost there. We're potentially going for a dying state now, just because of the bleeding. No, willpower saved us for once. Oh wow, what a close combat. We're running on fumes, at best. Our damage is good, but my assessment is unless you do a Valor generation, it starts to become really, really tedious. And that's where we currently are, right? Tedious state. Even that one Valor, that little bit of Valor, even that already made a huge difference. Oh, I forgot, we do have Glorious, so technically... Technically, there is a chance to generate Valor. It's not very good, but there is a very small chance to generate Valor. 
Good, and that little bit was enough for us to, uh, to gain it. So we had a couple of losses. Brotherhood in uh, this case unfortunately died. Uh, I, I liked his build, but uh, well, we were running out of uh, steam and the front line was just getting all of the heat. It was as close as it gets, so from a challenge uh, perspective that was great. Carried by food and carried uh, by uh, just decent positioning, I suppose. So uh, that's a good illustration how you can even win against overbearing foes. So that's really it. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed uh, this challenge, then leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next one. Bye bye.